All right, I'm only going to be working with this sign tonight. Tomorrow at 2, um, there is going to be a huge sign release. I am going to show you my new lineup for the fall and winter. You're going to be blown away. So what I'm doing with this sign tonight, because it's Tag Team Tuesday, all right, and I only have an hour to do something, I decided to do something small. Now this sign, I've attached a stand to the back. So we're going to make an apple centerpiece, fall apple centerpiece, all right? Now I don't know if any of you saw, thank you dear, thank you. Um, I don't know if any of you saw my little video yesterday, but this is one of my six foot tables from downstairs sitting on top of um, a shelving unit I got from Target that has wheels on it. And my husband was kind enough to put the new light in my room today. So whew, I'm just so thrilled the way everything came together. So hey, LaVon, big hugs, girl, thinking of you. All right, so we're going to start off with this. Um, like I said, I've added this to the back. If you, I have to get organized here. I've got everything all underneath on the shelves. If you don't um, purchase one of these, which I do have some available, you can always use one of these dish. Um, I can't put it in there now, but I'll put it backwards to show you. You could always use one of these. What I'm saying is you don't always have to put a sign in a wreath, okay? There are other uses for them. If you had, this one is a 9 by 7 If I don't think frames come in 9 by 7 but you could actually attach a frame to the back of this, one that's smaller, glue it, and then set it up in your, your arrangement. I just wanted to give you other choices. Um, there are some upcoming ideas that I have. Um, my son still doesn't have his CNC machine working. So once we get that working, there's going to be a lot of new products. Um, very exciting. So this is just an idea or a frame. Thank you, dear. Big hugs, LaVon. All right. So what I'm going to do, I've got all kinds of apples and stuff. I actually found this downstairs. This was actually um, a Christmas basket that I got some flowers in. I took the handle off of it and I painted it today. I even made a little apple sign to put on it. Let me, let me pull you in closer. If at any point you can't hear me or, or you hear any noises coming from my phone, please tell me because I'm, um, I can't hear anything. I am seeing your comments, so hopefully now that I'm upstairs and out of the dungeon, um, the Wi-Fi will be better up here and I won't get kicked off like last week. So, all right, so I've got my hot glue going because I'm going to glue this to the front of the basket. I'm just trying to duplicate the sign, which says apples, and this says autumn apples. Now, I have a bunch of apples. I've got leaves here. Um, I even have a crow if I wanted to use him, which I do have my wire cutters. Yay! Like I said, I don't know what's where, so it's going to take me a while to get used to where everything is. All right, so let's glue this to the front. And don't forget, tonight's Tag Team Tuesday. After I go on, then um, Willie's going to be on. And I know she's got an awesome project for you guys. We went ahead with Designer's Choice this week. We all, we both decided, hi Nanny Dot. We decided that we couldn't decide what we wanted to do, so we'd do whatever we wanted to do. So... So there you go, there's my little apple basket. Now, I know what I forgot, a plastic bag. I was gonna put a plastic bag in here. I do have one of these I can use also. And there was a little straw 
um, bale of straw that I thought about putting in here, but this is Dollar Tree, and I don't know how it's going to be, if it's all going to fall apart. It's going to be a pain, this thing. All right. This is my, uh, my, um, that stuff you use in case you get burned. I always have that on my table. All right, so I'm just using that to weight it down for now. So we're going to cut this. Where is my cutter? Like I said, some of my stuff is downstairs still. What's nice, I can go shopping downstairs before every live and pick out stuff I need. And I, like I said, I only have one pile left that needs to be organized. Hey, Amy. How are you, girlfriend? There's Amy staying safe in Philly. Nanny Dot's on. So, I'm going to cut this up some. I have a regular um, electric knife blade that I use. I hope this isn't freaking anybody out, the sound. I think this is the cleanest my sewing room has ever been. <laughs> organized I should say too there we go now we'll put this down in the bottom here I'm doing that because I want to fill it up some I don't want to have to completely fill it with um, with apples all right and then I'm going to use some of this shredded paper from Dollar Tree. If you guys don't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. And like I said, I would definitely watch tomorrow because there's that word I'm not allowed to say. C-O-N-T-I-C-O-N-T-E-S-T. -E so... Yeah, I just wanted to make this look like straw-like. And again, didn't want to have to fill up the basket. Now, because this is like a harvest, I think I'm going to cut some of this off. First, let's take off the tag. I had a little helper in my room, and she took off. Maybe before we're done, I can get her to come back in again. thought that would be kind of unique to have that in there now I've got all kinds of apples here I've got big apples I've got small apples I've got apples on a stick I think what I need in here is another table like right here so let's just do that there we go and I'm kind of liking these apples better than the ones on the stick like these are looking pretty putrid. So. But I thought we could put some apples in here. I know I gave Willie a sneak peek of one of my signs. I'm keeping them totally under wraps till tomorrow. And I think I might do a premiere on YouTube. So if you haven't, I don't know if we're allowed to say that word. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Um, great. That's awesome, Nanny Dot. Thank you. Well, I, I have a new microphone. So I think that's what's helping, too. Plus, everything's kind of closed in. So you're not like, I don't have the whole um, room. I just have my sewing room now. I just thought it'd be kind of nice to make like a, a little centerpiece for the table. Now if I wanted, I could add some little ones in here too. 
Oh, they all got those little ornament like gold things on them. That one's nice and red. So I like this one, I like this one. There's different shades here. Look, there's even a baby one. <laughs> Maybe some medium ones too. So I'll have a small, medium, and large. shelf is so nice because everything just stays in a basket underneath and all organized. I'm just loving it. All right, so let me take a look at this. Let's get some of this excess off of here. Then I have leaves that we're going to add in. I have a doily too. I love doilies. My grandmother made doilies and I just want to see. I don't know if that'll look too busy in there. Kind of wait till the end. I kind of grabbed what I thought I might need. I did have a little. I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are, I don't know if this even works. Nope, it's not working. Maybe I can switch it out. Um, these are like grungy candles. I don't know if you can see that. They kind of coat them and grunge them up and make them look old. Okay, thrift store <laughs> for the apples. Um, a friend grabbed these for me on a closeout. Um, I kind of, I had some beaded ones too, which these are pretty. So maybe we'll add one of those. And I even had a beaded one of a different color that I thought might be an, a nice accent. So they've come from all over. Let me move him back a little. There. They are kind of like that. And then we'll scatter some of these down here. Now I have these little tea lights from the dollar store. Because I, I didn't think this was going to work. I love doilies. I have them all over the house. I grew up with them. I always look for some. Alright, let me see here. Okay, maybe the battery from this one will work in this one. That's what I was hoping. If it didn't work, ah, they got it. There's a screw in there. We're going to pretend this worked. <laughs> I don't think I have a little screwdriver here. I do have one up here. Phillips either. There is one other place. Let me look. Let's see if this one in here works. I have little ones in my sign. Yeah, that's a regular, not a Phillips. Dag, nab it. here. Oh well. You know what? We are going to break it. 
because I want to. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. We're going to use that. This is the bad one. We're going to use that in here. Always like a little grungy candle. I even have these if I wanted to use these, but I didn't bring in batteries, so we can't use those. There we go. We'll put this over here. You guys see okay? Is everything good? Thank you. Hi, Evelyn. Louisville, Kentucky. Yay. Y'all staying dry down there? This is one of my signs. It's in my Etsy boutique. And I'm showing you that signs aren't just for um, wreaths. Like I said, there's some exciting stuff coming up in my shop and stuff. Boutique. I know what I'm going to do after my live. We're going to put a, you know what? We don't need to wait till after. We're just going to use the sticks from this one. Eek. I don't like this color. They look really gross. We're going to do some surgery. If you get squeamish, don't look. Now, come on. And then, I was trying to find them, and I know I have them downstairs. Cinnamon sticks. They are awesome when you put them in something like this. It just makes everything smell great. We need to cut that just a little bit off. There we go. Boop. I know what I'll have to do. I'll have to weight this down with something. Okay. Boy, it's, it's coated. Look at that. <laughs> you can't even get into it. Um try this pair. Well, that's not working either. Boy, that is so solid. <laughs> right? a screwdriver this is working I need to bring my tools back in here like bring my drill I have a cordless drill I have a PVC pipe cutter I have <laughs> an electric staple gun you name it there we go we're in we're in hey there we go We're just doing some surgery. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, Kim, how are you? We are doing some surgery here because we need these stems and we like these apples better. Should have tried hitting it with a hot glue gun. That might have melted it first. There we go. Yay! Nope, oh, still needs to be a little bit shorter. It needs a brick in the bottom. <laughs> you guys can see everything okay? 
and you you can hear me okay still and we didn't get kicked off yet wow this might be a good day who else has joined thank you evelyn sue be careful what a sweetheart she's driving home from work be careful girl now like i said i do have the little little things that you can e6000 is the name of the glue i think you can put that on the back of these or you can buy a smaller frame and glue it back to the back of a regular picture frame. I'm sure Dollar Tree has them. What am I looking for? Glue. Nope. We want to do it in this one. It is so nice to have everything working for a change. See then in here, I can fill in some little spots with the little ones. Oh, we need the baby one in there. There we go. And like I said, I have this one to lay down here if I wanted to get bring in another color. This came from AC Moore. These were various places. I don't know, we may put some down in here too. And let me just kind of get a visual here. I'm just going to be placing some of these leaves around here. So I brought this up to cut them off because I have all different colors that I wanted to add. Different colors, different shapes. You guys are awesome. Hey, Joy. Hey, Bobby. How are you? Thank you all for joining. We're just doing um, a little table centerpiece. Wanted to show everybody that you don't need to put signs in a wreath. There are other things you can do with them. So, I think I'm good on leaves. Let's grab this one here. This is my new area. I even have some raffia. I think I want these in it too. And maybe this one. And maybe this one too. And then I thought we would put maybe a bow somewhere. Not sure just yet. I'm just enjoying not being kicked off. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Yeah, and if you haven't, um, I think we can still say the word subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You might want to do that because that might just be where I am tomorrow at 2 o'clock with the release of my new sign collection winter fall let's put these over here and then because i couldn't find my cinnamon sticks it's always nice to lay a few cinnamon sticks in here so i had some ground cinnamon that i thought i'd sprinkle on the um, little paper that's sitting in the basket that i painted today and added the word apples um, just took a small piece of wood and then i have a a brother scanning cut is just like a cricket. So I added the word apple to that. But there we go. Oh, thank you, Vicki. I did see that you went on and you paid for it. So it will ship first thing in the morning. I can't wait to see 
um, pictures. That would be awesome. You are so welcome. And Dawn's on here. I got to get Dawn's done tomorrow. There was just a lot going on today. Well, my husband was still putting, it, you know, he was finishing with the light and. Oh, good, Angel. Did you get it already? Because I think I just shipped it yesterday. If you did, that's really quick. So you're liking the new setup then. Sound is good, picture is good, and we're all good. Yay. All right, and this is one in my new new collection, Autumn Apples. I think I showed you guys that last week. Um, don't forget, I will go back and put a link to my Etsy or to my YouTube channel because that's probably where I'm going to be tomorrow with my new signs. Wow, that was quick. That's awesome. But isn't this cute? I love baskets. I love to just put something simple on the table. So, I'm just thinking maybe what I need to do is move this around a little bit. So I have access to the handle over here because that might be where I'm going to put my bow. Wow, that's amazing. Use my Bodabra from the Porter family. <laughs> I don't want to go too big on this. I know what I forgot is a trash can in here, but hey, you should have you should have seen me working this weekend. Ugh, crazy woman. And how is it you spend all day working hard? you know, on your feet all day long and <laughs> you go to bed and you still wake up at like 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I should have been exhausted. This has all the colors of the sign in it. I thought I'd put that over here. Maybe that is a little too big. And I have this one, too, that has all the colors of the leaves in it, which are all the colors in the bigger bow. But could you imagine this on your table and then smelling the cinnamon? I know that cinnamon is downstairs somewhere, and it's probably in the pile that I have to go through. I was not going out and buying cinnamon. We will just sprinkle some in the basket. see yeah I definitely want to use that with this but I think that was just a little too big so maybe about a four inch loop <laughs> it feels like I never sleep let me tell you when I had the puppies you lay awake worrying about the puppies and my oldest female Lacey she she had something going on this week so I had to take care of her. I'm thinking probably just a three loop, three looper. All right. So yeah, but the nice thing is it's almost done. So, and I don't know if you've seen this, this is actually from um, a DVD. It's a DVD like story track and it, it it's great for putting your ribbons in there I used to have it on the table up here when it was downstairs when I did my classes so I'll make these about a three inch because I just want to grab the colors that are in the sign and this green kind of goes with the uh, green fabric I used here and I think I'm just going to stay with three loops again and probably a good thing because right there they glued the two together 
Who does that? Oh, you know what's nice? Like I have room. Like now when I do my wreath, I can put it down out of the way while I do my bow. And this table is really the right height for me. So. All right. And I went ahead and organized all my zip ties. Isn't that great? So they're available. I've had these baskets forever. And we're going to need just a little bit of wire. So we don't have any tinsel tied up here. Definitely have to put some stones in there. Yes, everything's out of the bedroom. Everything's put away. Everything from this room shifted in there until we moved. My sewing machine was here and the table jetted out here. And I said, that's ridiculous. All this floor space is going to waste. So we actually put it back here against the wall. So it, it just, like I said, everything just led, one thing led to another. You know what? I don't think I'm going to use that to tie it. I think we're going to use some raffia to tie the bow. All right, let's pull it out. And let's get our zip tie on here. Yeah, and everybody says they can hear me better up here. So that's just awesome. I just wish you guys could talk to me like I could hear you talking. That would be even greater, right? Carry on a little conversation. So I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm just going to use one of these. But... I'm going to add some of this to the front of the bow first. Yes. So let's put that in there before we zip it shut. Okay. Willie's on next. Willie's going to share her, um, her link. So you can go to her page right after. She's on at 7. I'm on six to seven. Then next week we swap and I'll be on seven to eight or eight thirty. We tag team. Could you? I don't see why not. That's a great idea, Evelyn. And, you know, it was basically just to show you you can use any basket or anything. It's just to show you that you don't need to put your sign in a wreath all the time. I have a lot of people buying my gnomes and my signs. And they have like those farmhouse three-tiered um, displays like on their, on their countertop. And they use that. So... I just like primitive design. I love the country farmhouse type stuff. So maybe I'll just stick those in there for now. <laughs> no, that's gonna make it all go over. I'm gonna tie this to here. I'm gonna turn this around because we want the lighter colored up front. Can you imagine this with the cinnamon? It's going to smell awesome. Did Willie, Willie put the link in there. All right, let's trim this. I'm going to take this off and we're going to fix this bow first. And then we'll put everything back on. I'm just so glad you guys can hear me and you're... And I'm still on and not getting kicked off. So it had to be the Wi-Fi connection. 
I was so afraid that I'd do all this and get up here and then realize it wasn't the Wi-Fi after I just rearranged half the house. That was my fear. You lost the feed? Did anybody else lose the feed? If you did, Susan, try going back out and coming back in. And if anybody else is, um, you know, the feed is lost, please tell me. Nobody else lost it. Thank you, Nanny Dot. So it was just Susan then. Susan, come go back out and come back in. First grandson in the area here has two teeth coming through. My second grandson in the area here smiled today. It is just so awesome being able to be close to them. That is not sitting right with me. one I want made smaller. Thank you, Evelyn. Must have just been um, Susan's connection. Aren't those colors beautiful? Like, don't they just scream fall? Okay, now I want this over here, and I want this over here. There we go. This needs to be a little bit tighter. So, I'm going to do my trick. You all know my trick where I take out the um, wire and then I fold my ribbon in three. And then we will tie it tighter to the basket because I'm seeing a little bit of the zip tie and I don't want to see that. So let's get rid of the zip tie. And you know what? I'll probably be warmer up here in the winter than downstairs. So I think all around it's a win-win. I'm going to have to really keep this room clean so you guys don't think I'm a slob. There we go. Now it's on there. All right. And then we'll trim some of this so we can disguise it. And then reposition our bow. So how many of you will have a chance to watch tomorrow? see the new signs 14 of them as of today I have been busy 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 look at that that's just really cute there can y'all see it let's pull some of this raffia out just something just a little colored bow Two colors. All right. I'm just going to weight that like that. How are we looking on time? Okay. We're not doing too bad. And then we're just going to scatter these leaves all throughout here. I love fall colors. 
Let's put that over there. Jeez. I'm gonna get a brick. I want that little guy up there. And I want that little one there. And we'll put some of these over here. I'm gonna put that out front. Because I'm liking that. And then we will just put a few of these apples out here. Let's move that closer over to there. And then we'll scatter some different sizes throughout here. I'm just mimicking the sign a little bit. And I think I need one more. one and take that out and these are going to kind of hide the stems now oh, what happened why'd that go off that's a new battery in there it better not go off <laughs> I'll put this one over here and then put a pile right there. Yeah. Just something colorful for the table. I could put this back here or I could put that there or I could put that over there. There. And I'm going to turn these around. I didn't get kicked off. I forgot to plug in my Mevo and it ran out of juice. So I apologize. I was doing so good. We almost made it through. So who came back? I'm so sorry. I think if that's the only thing I forgot tonight, I was doing pretty good. I forgot to plug in my Mevo and it ran out of juice. So that's what happened. <laughs> I didn't get kicked off. I know, Joanne. I <laughs> I have been running around like with like a late, you know, a chicken without a head today trying to remember everything and what I actually forgot was to plug in my Mevo. So the battery died, <laughs> but that's okay. We're at a good point. We're almost done. And it's almost time for, for, um, no, it's not a Facebook issue. I forgot to plug in my Mevo and it ran out of juice. It had no more charge left. So that's what happened. So it wasn't a Facebook thing tonight, anyhow. <laughs> so, so now I came back on and I can't find myself to explain. Oh, oh well. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> All right. I am so sorry. Yeah, I figured I better get back on and explain what I did. <laughs> I have had to worry about everything in here today, getting everything prepped and ready to go. So there you go. 
All right, so the only thing we have left to do is just to sprinkle a little cinnamon on here. Oh man, that's gonna smell so good, isn't it? There we go. Aw, thank you, Joanne. And wait, I have one to hop off for real this time. And I so appreciate all you coming back on and spreading the love and encouraging me all this weekend. And uh, hopefully you'll be all on tomorrow and you can see all the new signs. That would just be awesome. And I hope you enjoyed tonight. Like I said, just something simple. And like I said, if you don't have that little piece, just glue this to a regular picture frame. Buy a small picture frame and just put it on the back. I hope I gave you a few ideas. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> We're ready to sign off. Um, we accidentally, I forgot to plug in the Mevo, so it accidentally went off after the charge was all gone. So, but you can watch the replay and and Willie did put the link in the comments um, to go straight to her, her um, Facebook page, Wall Decor by Faye. It's Tag Team Tuesday. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm so blessed to have you in my life. And I appreciate you hanging in there with me and spending time with me. <laughs> well, Peggy, I go on. See, each week we flip flop. So this week I was on at six and Willie's on at seven. Next week I'll be on at seven and she'll be on at six. We just figured the first person always gets shorted on time. So that's why we flip back and forth each week. And I, I brought in Lacey so she could say hi to everybody. She's mama's girl. Right? All right, you all have a great evening and thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Wait, did you say hi to everybody? Hmm? What?